Hi, welcome to the home of our 26 quaternic quails. These ladies are giving us about 20 eggs a day and sometimes more. I was happy to find this perfect little spot in my suburban yard for the pen. Of course, I had to custom make it in order to make it fit. The pen is only six feet by two feet and only four feet tall. I didn't want it to be on the ground, so I built a stand about 18 inches off the ground. It is protected by the citrus tree and the house, which makes it a little hard to capture on video. Let me see if I can go around to the other side and show you all the way around. You see, the citrus tree gives these birds a lot of privacy and also gives shade from the sun. It took me several weeks or even close to a month to complete this pen because I didn't know what I was doing. The first frame came out entirely lopsided. I eventually figured it out though. I even figured out how to tilt the floor 11 degrees down so the eggs will roll into the egg catcher. Now, I'll tell you some of my favorite parts of this pen, which include the egg catcher, of course. I installed this cover here to protect the eggs from the rodents, and so far it seems to work. My all-time favorite part of the pen, of course, is the sandbox. My kids wanted to help brighten up the quail's new home, so they painted the entryways to the sandbox. The quails love to take sand baths and just hang out. They also like to lay eggs in there. Well, the sand spa, as we know it now, is such a popular spot that we needed to make more ways for the quails to get in and out. So I cut out doors on either side of the big door. Now the traffic flow is much better. Uh, so. I really wanted to make it easy to care for these cute, small um, beings that are sharing our space. Luckily, very smart people have thought of everything. These automatic waterers are wonderful. I just love them. I simply attach them to, uh, to the PVC pipes, then attach the PVC pipe to a bucket with the hole at the bottom. Uh, then I put in some drip lines for my irrigation system and there's water available for my birds 24-7. Now, quails um, are known to have very bad table manners. Uh, what that means is they sometimes can waste as much food as they eat. So I didn't like the idea of wasting food um, and also that means I have to refill the feeder even more often. So I came up with this DIY auto feeder and uh, they are now on their way to becoming really good dinner guests. Well, what I mean to say is that they are good eaters, not that we can we're gonna eat them for dinner or anything like that. Um, so anyway, uh, moving on. Uh, by the way, we do not eat these birds. We treat them as pets and they lay eggs for us. We only keep the females because the males just make too much noise. And we have neighbors who are very close to our house. Okay, now let's get down to the dirty business. What to do with all that poop? Well, these metal, metal trays are great. I had them custom made to, uh, to fit our pen. They are uh, less than $15 each and they're well worth it. They make cleaning so easy. I had already set up two compost methods to help process the waste. Uh, one is just a regular hot compost bin. It's a three feet by three feet by three feet. So the quail droppings 
is a good source of green material for the compost pile. The other compost system is a black soldier fly compost bin. I intend to feed the black soldier fly larvae to my tilapia, uh, which uh, are in my aquaponic system. There are no black soldier flies yet because it isn't warm enough. I'd like to close with some observations I made in the last four months as a brand new quail keeper. Quails need supplemental light to lay eggs during the short winter days. Also, their eggs are so delicious and nutritious. They love being held and they get along very well with kids and guinea pigs. Okay. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I think the boys will like to do that better. <laughs> Two birds and a piggy. <laughs> If you have been thinking about raising quails, I say go for it. And also, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. As always, I hope you learn, grow, and live well. Please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thanks.